Welcome to the breakdown where we break down all the messed up shit. Number one, it's Mobius, not Morbius. Instead of making a movie about this guy, imagine a movie about like Spider-Man Noir. Film it like it's the Batman, it will be nuts. Number two, it's been about 10,000 subscribers since I've seen y'all. Things are better now. Number three, it's Father's Day. So what better movie to talk about than a family movie? Directed by Kim ki Mobius is a movie with no spoken dialogue. The characters, mom, dad, son, mistress, and leader are communicating like a bunch of goats. A father cheats on his wife. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You can't really expect good father deeds on the disturbing breakdown on Father's Day. His wife is no angel. She cuts off their son's penis when she can't cut off the father's. Thanks, mom. It's not like I needed that for anything. No, it's, it really sucks, to be honest. The movie is the son non-verbally coping with the loss of his dingling and his father's attempts to show the son other ways of stimulating himself and getting him a dingling transplant. This movie is even weirder than I just described. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This movie is free on Tubi. If I feel comfortable, I can upload another video tomorrow, which is ironically about a crazy mother again. <laughs> if you wanna see what happens, including all the messed up parts, stay tuned for the breakdown. Cue the Gohan. Mobius. At home, mom is downing wine early in the morning sitting on the stairs. That's how you know whatever relationship she has with her family is not ideal. Dad and son are eating toast with no spread, just plain toast. Dad gets a phone call, but who is that? With a heart next to their name. Mom takes notice of how long it takes dad to answer it. Finally, she puts her third glass down and grabs the phone trying to speak to the heifer on the other side. Then it turns into WWE Raw Smackdown in here. He got some good restraint not to slap her back after she hit him like that. All this in front of the son. He kind of reminds me of my little brother. I remember when my mom got into an argument with my grandfather one time, she would be all smiles like nothing happened whenever she talked to me. I guess this is universal. The dad is cheating on mom with a shopkeeper we will call mistress. He even takes her on a date which the son so happens to walk on. That's not a good role model for the son. Later when he gets back home, he finds dad cheating on his mom having sex with the mistress in the car. Mom also notices this. After all the cheating is done, mom throws a brick through her shop. Also, by the way, the mom and the mistress is played by the same actress, but I couldn't tell while I was watching. Mom returns home finding her son jacking off. Please don't tell me watching your dad got you like that. <laughs> Ew. This family is weird as the Visitor Q family. Something about this hurts the mother. She grabs a blade that she kept hidden, going towards the father as he sleeps. She wants to slice his hot dog off, but luckily he wakes up and WWE smackdowns her to the ground. She has a change in victim now. She decides to go to the son's room and slices his hot dog off, crying while she does it. The deed is done. I'd be crying even harder if I was him. That's the face of a hot dog slicer. It's like she got Bok Nam final form already. He wants her to give him the hot dog, hoping that they can sew it back on at the hospital. She then eats the hot dog, chewing on it and swallowing the hot dog. Still, they carry the son to the hospital. While that is going on, she tries vomiting it out, but then decides to leave the house, passing through the city with a little funkin' soul. While she is walking, she happens to pass by a spiritual man who meditates and pays respect to the Buddhist statues in this store. That guy seems to be content with life. At the hospital, sadly the son has lost his penis for good. Now all he's got to do is find a Tyrion Lannister who will make jokes about it every 10 seconds and will have Game of Thrones. Dad feels very guilty about what happened, even thinking about shooting his own penis off, but decides against it. He arranges for the removal of his own penis through surgical means in the hopes he can have it attached to his son. He also starts ignoring the mistress from here on out. I don't think she liked that. At school, the son goes to the bathroom, but when he is missing his hot dog, he doesn't have the best aim nowadays. 
Hell, honestly, even with a hot dog, high school kids would still be pissing on their shoes somehow. Dude, just use the stall. The other student here notices this and tells rumors around the school. This causes bullies to grab the son and find out he really is missing a penis. Dad comes in between them to stop the bullying, only to get jumped right after. Son is angry at his father, angry at everything really, and I understand. Later on, Son goes to the shop where the mistress works. It's really interesting how this is the same actress as the mom, but I can clearly tell that they are different characters. The mistress is a sex hound, like a goat in heat or something. She shows her titties to the boy hoping to seduce him, but he doesn't have anything to work with, so he runs away, only to then come back later to buy snacks. While he is ogling the mistress, those school bullies come and start bullying him again. Why do y'all want to see his crotch so bad? Then randomly, a group of older men come and save the son, beating the mess out of the school bullies. Batman punches and everything like they touch Selena. How wonderful. Some nice new aggressive role models for the son. That's sarcasm. I wonder how this will turn out. The leader of these men is really invested in the mistress. Soon, leader grabs the mistress to rape her and the others stop the son from intervening. I won't be showing any of the scenes, but expect close-ups if you do watch this on Tubi. Each member of the gang rapes her and they force the son to do it next. However, he doesn't have a penis anymore. And I'm not saying you need a penis to rape someone. I'm just saying in this form of rape that they're doing, he won't be able to rape her. To save face and not be ridiculed, he pretends to rape her by just humping over her. I still consider it assault, by the way. I mean, he's still humping her. Of course, they aren't just going to get away with this. The police come to arrest the son for his role, even if he didn't technically assault her that way. The father tells the police that he couldn't have raped her because he doesn't have a penis. He goes to show this only for the son to beat the father down for almost embarrassing him. Soon the police grab him and are confirmed of this themselves. Is it really this funny to see someone has lost their penis? No sane person would ever laugh at this. The son starts beating the leader of the gang for laughing. The son got hands, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. The son still has to do jail time for his role where he is almost raped by fellow prisoners. The guard only notices him fighting the others, so he is locked up in solitary confinement. That ain't punishment, that's a blessing, I can be alone. While he is in jail, the father has found out through the internet a way to orgasm without stimulating the penis. It involves rubbing a rock on his foot, rubbing it so hard that he orgasms. He actually orgasms harder with this rock than he does with his c Remember, the father had his penis removed surgically. Still, the pain is something else once the nut is all out. I think that's what they call post-nut clarity. The father shows this new masturbation method to his son, who finds it silly and stupid. That's until he thinks about it for a little bit. He tears off a piece of the wall, using it to rub on his arm. Basically, there are various erogenous zones on the body, and rubbing a rock there causes stimulation. Eventually, he does orgasm by doing this new 21st century masturbation method. But then after the nut, his arm starts to hurt terribly. Eventually, the son is released from detention. Both the father and the son seem happier to know there is a new way to orgasm now. I also hear you can stimulate the prostate too. That might work for the both of you. Well, not with each other, of course. Soon, the son goes back towards the shop where the mistress works. Every time we see her, she is stacking stuff. So this new method of getting yourself off is interesting, but it always results in pain and wounds. So they end up researching a way for the son to have the father's penis attached to him. Remember, he got surgery to sever his penis a while ago out of guilt. It's just waiting on ice. Anyway, the son later goes to apologize for his role in the rape of the mistress. She also has a knife on standby. She stabs him directly between his shoulder blades. Now, the movie is becoming difficult to explain. Let's just say she kind of forgives him for what happened and finds attraction in him despite the fact that he doesn't have a penis anymore. 
Also, he uses the blade to stimulate the erogenous zone in the area of his body. So it's giving him another orgasm in the weirdest way possible using the knife in his shoulder. Basically, the two have sex just by stimulating each other. It's really spicy, too spicy for this video. Then she grabs the knife out. Yeah, this timeline is really weird. Even weirder, the mistress begins a relationship with the man who raped her. Turns out she is pulling a Jennifer Hills on him, getting him in a vulnerable position before slashing his hot dog off. The son helped her with this, coming in and holding him down as she finishes the job and throws his hot dog in the corner. Then the son takes the hot dog for himself, even though this wasn't part of the plan. I guess the adrenaline is amazing with this one, and the bully leader races to grab his penis before it's run over in the street. The leader loses his penis in a game of Frogger. He then goes back to the shop to beat the shop owner, but the son comes in and stabs him in the shoulder blade, which is the same zone in the body that allows for orgasmic experiences. Afterwards, the dad and the son look up more about penis transplants. The actual operation commences, and now the son has a new penis, the one that his father had surgically removed from himself. The father and the lead surgeon play porn on the TV, hoping to see if he will get an erection. But unfortunately, the son doesn't get one. Even then, I wouldn't be able to get an erection in front of my dad and my doctor. Well, still, he has a new penis and shows the mistress. She also notices he doesn't seem to get an erection, even though he is clearly attracted to her. That surgery was whack. But at least you can aim your urine now. Randomly, the mom returns home. We haven't seen her since after she cut the son's penis off. She goes inside only to sleep on the bed. She must have been up all night, snoring like my first college roommate. She laid out been asleep for the past 12 hours just snoring. Freshman and sophomore year all over again. I could barely sleep because of my roommate's snoring. Finally, she awakens at night when both the dad and the son are asleep. She sleeps in between the two, pushing the father off the bed. But this feels weird. In fact, the son gets an erection. He gets an erection for his mom. Now, I know this looks weird, and it definitely is, but it's not because he is attracted to his mom. Remember, he got his father's penis attached to him. Basically, it's like saying the penis has a brain of his own. As hilarious as that sounds, his father was obviously sexually attracted to the mom, of course, and that instinctive response carries over despite the penis not being attached to him anymore. All it took was a few forehead kisses to get your penis that excited, but you cheated on her? Come on. Nah, don't be looking surprised, mom. You started all this weird penis mess. The son runs away he's still bricked up for his mom. It looks like he took a whole peel of Viagra. Now, I don't know what mom is thinking, but it scares me. I'm scared she's thinking of doing the dirty with her son. When dad shows her his new way of stimulating himself, she pushes him away, cornering the son. She wants to do the dirty with him, despite the fact that it's her son. The son goes to the mistress, but he chooses not to do anything sexual with her. The dad slaps both mom and son for flirting around this way, but they disregard him. She later gives her son the old hot dog massage. That was pretty surreal. Both are crying by the end of it though, that post nut clarity. The father is vengeful. Jealousy and disgust is all over his face. He grabs the blade that started all of this, aiming to cut off the penis. The son kicks him away and the mom grabs him. This shared grief they all have is the real magical moment. It reminds me that these people are people, that they're still humans and not just animals or organisms. The way that this movie had no spoken dialogue reminded me of animals. Animals don't need spoken language like us, and we don't really see them crying like this. The next morning, Sun walks by the shop again, seeing the mistress having sex with the leader from before. Looks like it's really working out for them. The son stays awake at night playing with a wind up toy. It looks cool, but that has nothing on my original Spider-Man 2002 action figures with Tony Hawk as my Peter Parker. Still, the mother comes in to have sex with the son. The father grabs her, 
forcing himself on her in a futile way to win her back or something. Quite sad, honestly. Remember, his penis is on his son now. Do you want her this bad? Why did you cheat on her in the beginning, numbnut? Soon, he later arms himself, holding his wife like he's Sam Fisher and about to interrogate her. He later shoots and kills her in a nightmare-like view. He then shoots himself, a scene that the son later finds. How disturbing. Seeing the gun on the ground, the son picks it up. He aims to shoot off the one organ that started all of this. Pow! You remember that spiritual person the mother passed by in the beginning of the movie after cutting off the son's penis? We see him again. His flashlight ignores the phallic elephant noses and goes straight to the Buddha. Upon closer inspection, it turns out that spiritual person was actually the son. He is fully content with living without a penis. Looks like he's ready to escape this mortal coil. So it was kind of like a cycle in a way. Well, that was surprisingly a good ending. The son has learned to be happy without having a penis. Losing your dingaling would definitely suck, but it's not the end of the world. And it definitely doesn't make you less than a male or man. He was a kid, so I understand, but you don't ever have to prove yourself to nobody unless you're in a court of law and you're proving yourself innocent. Plus, there are other ways to stimulate yourself sexually. And I'm not talking about rubbing a rock in your skin and stabbing yourself. This movie was very weird, as you can see. Man, we have talked about some weird families over the years. Let's talk about the most disturbed moment and most enjoyed moment in Mobius. There was an original actress playing the part of the mistress. She dropped out after the rape scene because there was actual sexual assault while filming. There seems to be genuine reasons to dislike this film other than just how weird it is. Mom was the real villain here. Father is just a dumbass idiot. And their choices affect the child, just like always. Those bullies were kind of problematic. The pressure they caused the son to fit in is real. Wikipedia makes it a bit more gendered, but I don't really care about that. You don't gotta prove yourself to nobody. And the organ tied between your legs has nothing to do with your self-worth and identity. Only you can choose how you want to live. The son figured that out by the end of the movie. And that's a real role model to me. Most disturbed moment is tough because each troublematic scene reached the same threshold. There was no scene that just made me say, oh shit, that's fucked up. I mean, yes, it was all weird. I guess I'll pick the knife sex. That was pretty otherworldly for sure. Most enjoyed moment is definitely the ending. I saw my little brother in this character. I don't live with my little brother. I see him every now and then. I'm satisfied to see the son content with life despite not having his member. He knew that his member is not a membership to fit in. I want my little brother to know he doesn't have to fit in too. He would be much happier in life if he doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. That's it. On screen is some more weird family movies if you're in the mood. Thank you guys for staying tuned and like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more messed up stuff. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.